I did it. 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 It took me three weeks instead of two, but I did it. It's done. I finished a illustration that was way, way, way more elaborate than I thought it was. For those of you who don't know, I decided to take on a full complete illustration project. I saw the Ruin Giant in Subaru and I was so impressed and just like amazed by how big it was that I thought it would be amazing for it to turn into, like for it to wake up and to turn into a boss. Uh, it'd also be a great way for whole reverse to introduce like raids into the game group like big big group multiplayer it's very much like a like a long lost stream i feel like it's not gonna happen um but one can dream and when one can draw you can make your dreams into at least something you can see <laughs> i initially gave myself two weeks i felt like two weeks was long enough i think two weeks would have been long enough if i didn't have a New York trip in the middle of that. I did my rough sketch first, which I really liked. I liked the size and gravity of it. The line work wasn't too bad when I started, um, but I had failed to realize just how complicated the Ruin Giant's like face was. The line work wasn't too bad to start. Um, the key shapes were like pretty, you know, pretty simple. All the individual shapes that were on the Ruin Giant were pretty simple. Um, it was a lot of circles. I also tried to limit myself to basically one brush. Uh, I started sketching and from that sketching, I learned how valuable and helpful it was to like limit my tools um, and like Procreate and digital art softwares are amazing because you can, you can really do anything and create any sort of appearance and texture. But when you don't know what to do with all those things, it be it can be a bit overwhelming. Uh, so I limited myself to one brush uh, and that helped a lot with my decision making process. Um, and then once once the line work was done, I kind of like stopped. <laughs> I stopped and I didn't pick it back up until after I got back from New York and had decided to give myself another week coloring. And I've come to understand that this is fairly common that to like your line work more than you like the colored version. I feel like I have not even close to mastered coloring and shading and lighting. And I was like, man, I could just leave it as a sketch and then, you know, I'll never know. I am getting, I just got 13 notifications from Genshin Impact. Dude, take it easy. Yes, so by the third week, I was able to kind of synthesize why I felt this way. It would be easier to enjoy the possibility that I might, like this piece of artwork might turn into something I'm proud of, but if I color it, you know, I'm making that decision and there's, I'm opening myself up to the possibility that I won't like the end result after putting, you know, so much work into it. But obviously I did not, I didn't give myself the option to not finish it, so I finished it. <laughs> I'll show you the footage. This is from Friday. <clears throat> it's is Friday. I've made good progress, but I haven't really touched it much. Okay, the point is I have two days. I've gotten a good amount of the foliage done. I ended up partially using like a leaf brush um, just to speed up the process and get the texture right. But I still have to draw Lumine and then I have to draw the sky and then do lighting. So it's not too bad. I'd say that's pretty good progress. The liner is like almost done. I just have to do these here and a couple other details, but it looks good. I'm spending way, way, way more time on this than I should. This is like gonna be this big on the picture, but whatever, I'm enjoying my coloring page. Yeah, so yesterday I finally finished it I did all of the the lighting, the shading. I shrunk Lumine down to a, a tenth of what I drew her as, and that was really painful because I put so much detail in that. By the way, when I finished Lumine, I kind of <laughs> I like took a step back and I looked at it completely, 
and I couldn't, I honestly couldn't find a flaw with it. Not that it was like some incredible piece of art, but I was happy. I was genuinely happy with it and I had no, no complaints um, or anything I would have like necessarily done differently. And I can't think of a time that I have felt like that with anything I've drawn. So that was just like really encouraging. And I, I actually, at that point, went back to a couple old videos and watched what I was able to do then. And I was like, man, this is actually working. <laughs> like I'm actually, I'm actually becoming an artist. I mean, if I was able to do this, even though I'm like not 100% satisfied and I feel like with a couple more months, if I tried the, to do this again, or if I did, you know, like a reef take of this, obviously it would be better, but I can't get to that point without this point. I think when I started this process, I really thought that being good at art meant that you could just whip something up. Basically that your, that your line work is gonna be like your first strokes onto the page and the coloring happens all at once and the lighting happens all at once. I've come to realize that there's so much like planning and forethought that goes into a large illustration like this. And that was one of the things that deeply discouraged me long time ago was, you know, I didn't put my pencil to paper and suddenly have something miraculous. And I think like if I had tried to draw Lumine like I did this week or uh, this whatever episode I, c I couldn't do that all in one go right like there was looking at looking at models studying her clothes uh there was doing the rough sketch and then the rough line work and then the finish line work considering like the breeze and how I wanted her clothes to flow coloring and the shading and there's so many steps uh that I didn't realize that that only you know only the michelangelos of the world are able to just put their put their artist tool to paper and suddenly like without any forethought have something i feel like this happens to me a lot where like a cliche that you believe suddenly becomes like true and it makes sense to you what that means is that you're not always going to see the end result at step one and two and three and you're not even gonna have sight of the final of the finish line until you're at point point q <laughs> trusting the process also means choosing not to believe your doubts it's the, it's the same principle but it's the other side of it man there were definitely moments where i looked down at what i had worked on and i was like i feel like i just wasted an hour of my life i'm not happy with how this looks and i can't even imagine how this is going to turn into what I see in my mind. Acknowledging that discouragement and being able to push through it, that also goes hand in hand with understanding that there are steps that kind of have to be followed in order to get to a very specific end result. That all kind of came together and like kind of clicked in my mind. Of like, what does trusting the process actually look like when you're trying to learn something difficult? Honestly, I didn't start liking the entire piece until about maybe 30 minutes before I finished it. It was right around this mark where I was doing the lighting and suddenly all these different seemingly disconnected pieces all came together in a certain atmosphere uh, in this like afternoon glow. I was powering through because I knew I had to finish it and I had made a promise that I would finish it, but but it wasn't it literally wasn't until the end. Yeah, so I had to trust the process for however many hours I spent on this. For me it was it was probably like 8 hours. So I think moving forward I won't take as many ambitious projects. Uh, I think I'll take a little breather. I think for the next 2 weeks I would like to draw something every day. I'm on a good momentum right now. I, I drew a lot. Like I spent a lot of time on my iPad. Oh, by the way, I should show you these. I drew these today. I'll show you a better picture than this. I don't know why I'm lifting up my iPad like a grandpa, but I made these like Halloween fall icons for my Discord. So they all have their own little roles and they come with colors and stuff. So honestly, I'm really happy. <laughs> I'm really happy with these. I just, I did all these in the, in about maybe an hour today and I like them. I think that I'm, that's like one of the big breakthroughs that I'm having is that I actually like the things that I'm drawing now. I'm not drawing because I have to, I'm drawing because I actually like it. And I have faith that I can bring what I'm seeing onto the page. Maybe not perfectly, but I can make something that I'm happy with. And that's new. That's definitely new for me. Okay, draw every day. 
get it into my routine. And I do, I frankly, I do need more routine in my life. So this is good. Thank you for watching. Um, and also if you, I, I tweeted it out and if you commented on it, you know, sent some kind words, I just want you to know I really appreciate it. I feel like I'm on an upward trajectory, like I'm out of the trenches a little bit and I'm, I'm doing stuff that I actually like, that I actually like. Signing off, um, New York vlog coming soon. Bye, see you next time. Thank you. And oh, and good luck on whatever you're working on. <laughs>